A special theater in the Chattanooga area is celebrating their 25th anniversary, and they are doing so in grand fashion. Here to give us all the details on the Barking Leg Theater's 25th celebration is Marcus Ellsworth. Good morning, Marcus. Good morning, Jess. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Number one, congratulations on 25 years. Thank you so much. I know you told me that you've been with the theater, um, you know, part-time and full-time for a little over 10 years now. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean to you personally to celebrate? Well, uh, personally for me, Barking Legs has always been a place where uh, myself as an artist um, has always felt like home. Um, it's a place where we can experiment and collaborate. Um, I feel more connected to the creative community here in Chattanooga because of Barking Legs. And uh, then last year I came on full-time as staff, and that's been great because it's given me an opportunity to uh, work more closely with some of the most talented folks in Chattanooga. So there's a lot of theaters in Chattanooga. What makes Barking Legs mm -hmm. unique? Other than the legacy, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Barking Legs is unique because for 25 years we've been a home mm -hmm. for like cutting-edge experimental art. Um, for more traditional art forms that uh, don't get a chance to be seen in Chattanooga, mm -hmm. like you know, Appalachian folk music, bluegrass, um, experimental jazz, uh, we're uh, we're a home for uh, for those artists that you know might be a little outside of the mainstream, but still have an audience here that mm -hmm. that looks for that kind of art. Um, and we, I think, we're the the longest running establishment that has uh, always been a home for that. So you're wrapping up the 2018 season. As mm -hmm. you look back, what were some of the most memorable moments? Oh, let's see. Um, we had Willie Watson from Old Crow Medicine Show came and performed. That was oh, great. Wow, um, sold out the theater, and um, it was really nice because because we're a smaller place, he got a chance to like meet the audience, and that mm -hmm. was really fun watching people um, get to engage with him directly. Um, we had um, we, we put one of our partners is Comap. Um, they put on like classical music performances. Uh, Bronnie Stroud Watson runs that, mm -hmm. and she's put on some amazing shows. In fact, we have one coming up next week. Uh, with uh, Ben Van Winkle, that should be really amazing. Um, there's just been uh, so much that is uh, that's come through. It's uh, it's hard to pinpoint all the favorites. And being a smaller venue, that really lends a hand to number one, a more immersive experience, mm -hmm. and that opportunity to engage with the cast or the performer. Uh, explain what that experience is like. Well, because the, the theater, um, we hold just over a hundred people. Um, so it allows you to, uh, even in some instances, like, like where we have a bigger turnout, mm -hmm. uh, the audience will actually be on stage with the performer, wow. and that's, um, that gives us a chance to give an acoustic performance um, where you feel really connected. Um, we encourage our artists to engage with the audience. We love an audience interaction, like breaking that wall, uh, because we really do believe that the audience is part of the art. Um, and then our lobby that we have is great for folks to mingle afterwards. Um, it's a great place to really get to know um, our regular patrons and, and even the performers that come through. So speaking of mingling and getting to know the artists that perform, your 25th celebration is no different. So mm -hmm. to give us some of the details on what we can expect. Okay, so um, we are celebrating our 25th anniversary, which is the silver anniversary. Mm -hmm. And we got to brainstorming about that. And we landed on, we thought, uh, Ann Law, the founder, uh, she thought of uh, Silver Stockings, the you know, reference to Cole Porter. Mm -hmm. So with that, we're taking the songbook of Cole Porter and we are deconstructing it and reimagining it. So we're taking Cole Porter songs, but we're putting it in the hands of hip hop artists and oh, fire okay. cabaret and drag queens and um, movers and dancers and poets um, to really, uh, in a way of celebrating the old mm -hmm. and then making something making new. Making it new it. again. Yes, which is how we see ourselves right now in 25 years. Ago. So I'm very excited about this because there is something for everyone with dance, with music, with spoken word um, in that new style. You have a couple of different ticket options available. Give us the details on how it breaks down. Yes, so um, at $20, that's just admission for the show. Like if you just want to come see and experience the art, um, mm -hmm. if that's your general admission. Uh, for $50, we have a gourmet menu of hors d'oeuvres and custom cocktails that are paired with each piece that's being performed. Oh, cool. So um, it's kind of like a progressive, um, not a meal because it's, uh, you know, appetizers and mm -hmm. drinks, but still it's paired appropriately. Yeah, like a progressive dinner kind of Perfect. Thing. Yeah, I so love e that idea. So each stage of the performance, we, uh, we introduce a I got really excited about that. Sorry. Continue. Oh, no, it's great. <laughs> you should be. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's, we're, uh, we actually have a meeting this afternoon to finalize our menu. Oh, fun. Um, so that's going to be really great. And then... Um, at the $150 level is our VIP access, and uh, if you've been to the theater, you know, there's very limited parking, mm -hmm. so VIP gets you a reserved parking space, Okay. Um, and you get to come in an hour early to do a meet and greet with the cast, and you'll get your own photo with them. Um, you also get um, a bottle of wine from the cellar of Bruce Kaplan, who's one of the oh, founders of cool. our theater, and who really knows his wine, if anybody who knows Bruce out there. Um, it's, a, it's a really 
my favorite part. And do the VIPs the also, um, of course, get to participate in the appetizers and beverages yes. with each course? Yes. All right. and, and then they also get a table that's like right in front of the stage, so oh, they get the cool. best seats in the house too. The best seats in the house, best parking, best seats, best mm -hmm. drinks. The VIP, you know. You can't. That's the way to go all the way. Right. Give them the full experience. <laughs> all right. So where do we need to go to purchase our tickets? Uh, you can go to BarkingLegs.org, and uh, when you go to our website, it's on the calendar on the sidebar. It's the, the banner. It's the first slide at the top. Um, and you click there and it'll take you to our brown paper tickets page where we're doing all of our sales. Perfect. And this is not just one night, but three nights. Yes, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Now, it is more or less the same show every night. Some parts are improvised, so there'll be little differences mm -hmm. here and there, but it's basically the same show. So people can just pick what night they want to come. Uh, we encourage folks to bring their friends. This is a good couple's night out. This is a good, you know, friend's Perfect night out. Perfect date night, right? Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> and we provide all the, all the bells and whistles for you, so you don't right. have to work that hard. Well, that sounds great. Marcus, thanks for joining us, and congratulations on 25 years. Thank we you look so forward much. to your 2019 season as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and mark your calendars for November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, 8 p.m., and get your tickets online at barkinglegs.org.